Hey guys, this is Weapon Corrector Productions, and I'm going to be going over my uh, fishing lures. I have way more, except uh, this is what I got for Christmas. Uh, brand new, not open, except the ones that I opened just uh, for the video. So this is the first thing that I got. It's um, Power Bait. It's original scent uh, right there. Trout Nuggets, and obviously you're fishing with trout because it says Trout Nuggets. Uh, I use them, and it works really good. I like the rainbow ones. Uh, this is... Uh, the multicolor, which is basically the rainbow ones, uh, proven scent in flavor, uh, which is true. So, firmly press floating power nugget onto hook for best results. Protect from extreme heat, 130 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, I don't know how you get there unless you're, like, on a campfire or something. Uh, but that, it wouldn't even get that high, so, uh, so, nugget float, yeah, yeah, I, don't, I can't read that, so, I think that's Spanish or something. Not for human or pet cons uh, consumption, and uh, yeah, if you eat that, you'll probably uh, get very sick or could either die. Uh, made in the USA, I like that. Uh, made by per Pure Fishing Incorporated. I can't get the address because my iPad won't focus. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to get that to focus. Okay, there we go. So you could take a picture of that if you want to, I don't know, go to their website. So, uh, our next item is going to be, oh no, it opened up, um, Gitsits. This is the original Gitsits, uh, if I could grab this with my other hand, uh, yeah, Gitsits, and use these for bass. Usually you use them, use them in, um, spring, when it's, uh, spawning season, so, uh, I'll take one out in a minute. So, uh, the best way, this is just, uh, this isn't the lure, but this is different lures. Uh, I'm just going to read this because I think it's cool. Uh, best ways to fish a uh, paddle fry. Um, cast and let it drop to the bottom. Raise rod tip and retrieve. So, uh, okay, uh, pretty simple. Uh, best ways to fish a spider jigs. Yeah. Fish on the bottom, dropping near structures, submerged points, and drop-offs. Uh, so they're good near, uh, any structures. Um, or rocks or stuff like that. Uh, best ways to fish a dying shad. Cast and let settle to the bottom. Twitch and retrieve. So, uh, my voice got high there. <laughs> I'm just trying to read, uh, excitingly. So, uh, I don't know what colors they are, these are, but, um, ooh, 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 uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Not supposed to touch these because all salt. Uh, let's grab one. Uh, let's try to get one in focus here. There we go. Nice. You attach the hook through the bottom. It goes up here where I'm squeezing. Uh, yeah. And don't touch these. They have salt on them. Make sure to wash your hands, which I'll do after this video. But if you don't do that, yeah, you're going to get salt everywhere. Uh, you eat that. I don't know what will happen if you eat that. I recommend don't doing it. So uh, sorry about I'm like being a noob here. But uh, I don't want them to spoil because they could do that. If you let them out, then they're not going to have scent or the salt on them. And when they don't have salt on them, the bass are not going to go after them, which I'm, I think is on one of my box, back of my boxes in one. There they get tits. Uh, can you not fit in the box so again? Okay, so there we go. Sorry about that. Aha. Uh -huh. No, it's never going to close again. Because <laughs> they have this little staple holding it on. I took that out. So uh, next one. Power bait out of the way. Let's take the next, uh, the other pack of gets it. And this is just, uh, this is watermelon, I'm pretty sure. Because, uh, that's my favorite type to use. Catch a lot of bass. I caught, like, 9 or 10. Uh, one day, I think it was, like, 2 hours of fishing. Uh, caught about 9, 10 bass. Uh, large mouth. I think some small mouth, I don't know. Um, can't remember. But, uh, yeah, that was basically the same thing. Except different color. Uh, back of the box is everything. If you miss the other part, uh, probably not. <laughs> if you're like looking away or something. But uh, here's that, and you could just pause that. Sorry. But you could just pause that. Um, next video. I mean, uh, not next video, but next thing we're going to do. Some rigged twirl tails. Oh, one more thing about these uh, get sits. How you would fish them. So, uh, what you want to do is you want to cast them out. And then you want to... Um, Keep reeling in, except not fast. Reel them in slow. You stop for a second, let it float to the bottom, and then you pull it up, and that'll get the, um, the fish's attention. 
and then you reel a little bit more, let it sink to the bottom, and pull it up. And that should get you a fish. And they work really good, except make sure you use them in a spawning season. Uh, if you use them anytime else, I don't know. It, it'll work, except it won't be as more it won't be more efficient. Next um item are these rigged twirl tails. So I got two packs. I got um I got the white ones. Uh, I'm pretty sure you just cast them out, uh, jig them a little bit, let them sink. I think you fish them like uh, the get tits, but I'm not sure about that. Uh, Google that. I couldn't find it. Uh, I never fished with these before, uh, so I'm excited to try these out. Uh, looks like you just attach the line. They already have hooks in them. Uh, so there's that. Here's um, the neon ones, if I can get them. Yep, very good twirl tails. Uh, what does that say over there? A one in thir um one in thirty two ounces. Uh, it's a seven pack. Uh, made by Arky. I'll check the back. It, that's just warnings. And, uh, Arky Lures Incorporated. Uh, P.O. Box one forty one fourteen sixty Springdale A R seven two seven six five. W W dot Ark. I don't know. Arky Jigs dot com. Uh, Main China. So uh, yeah. If you want to go to there, it says, Warning, this product contains lead, a chemical known to the state of California to cause cancer and birth effects and other um, reproductive harm. Uh, yeah, so rigging, you just put the... But it comes rigged. Why would they... Uh, I guess if the hook came out. If you want to change the hook, you could. Uh, I don't know why you would want to. I mean, it's more work. But a rigging, you just put it like that. You could pretty much figure it out. <laughs> it's kind of stupid they put it back there, but it's a nice addition. Uh, let's put this to the side. Let's go for my, uh, my Smithwick. So it's a Smithwick, uh, six to eight, um, inches depth, uh, four and a half, yeah, inches, four and a half ounces, I mean, uh, one and a half ounces, or half ounce, I should say, yeah, half ounce. So, uh, that's my Smithwick. You could see the, um, the sinkers in there. Make it uh, sink to the bottom, so I'm assuming that it's uh, supposed to be a uh, underwater, not a top floater. So uh, looks like it um, bubbles. I don't know, uh, but then there's a three prong hooks. It's a double hooks set. I like that. I think that's a horse in the background. I don't know if you can see that. You could, but uh, yeah, it just looks weird. It's cool though. I like it. <laughs> Doesn't really have teeth. Still cool. Uh, Made with uh, Galakatsu hooks. Okay. Uh, Galakatsu hooks, I should say. I don't know. It's a Smithwick uh, suspending. And apparently they call this the uh, the Elite. Um, let me see if I can get that in focus. The Elite 8. Uh, what does this see? say? It says the Elite 8. Four and a half ounces. Yeah, four and a half inches. One and a half half ounce, suspending six to eight inches, uh, cast six to eight inches, troll eight to eleven inches, dives quickly to maximum death, depth, wow, okay, so it goes to maximum depth, uh, translucent patterns for clear water, nice, flashy chrome patterns for stained water, they ought to tra uh, attract the fish's attention, which would be really good, uh, so I recommend this, uh, loud internal tungsten rattle in classic Ro um, rogue roll. So that'll get the fish's attention. The shininess, which will bring them in, and then when they get closer, they could hear the, all the rattle. Um, that'll be attract their attention even more. So, uh, and this, I, I don't know. I think yeah, this is just the Spanish part down here. It says a uh, S M K Elite Eight Rogue A U A Y U A D. Uh, I don't know what that stuff is, but it says made in China. Uh, cause you could obviously tell by how it says uh, made with a. Uh, Gal Nikitsu, I don't know, Gakitsu, but uh, so there's our Smithwick, I like that eye, it looks cool, uh, see, you can all see the sparkles on it, that'll catch all the fish's attraction, um, so, attention, I should say, attract the fish's attention, so, last thing, uh, my favorite part, are some power bait, um, by Berkeley, uh, and they are some, uh, pearl red eye, uh, what are these? Swim bait. Let's see if I can get that. Yeah, swim bait. Vibrating tail. Um, and then the Spanish form down there. If you're Spanish, you go ahead and look at that. Um, 
exclusive power bait formula. Nice. Up here it says um, SMPSS3-PRE. Um, it's a 3 inch, 8 centimeters, Poggy Swim and Shed. Uh, <laughs> Poggy Swim and Shed. Uh, I don't know, 5, five cent. Uh, pearl Red Eye. Uh, some Chinese down there. I don't know. Uh, some power, yeah, it says power bait by uh, Berkeley. It says fish bite and won't let go. So uh, hopefully that's true. Because <laughs> if they do let go, it's just not going to be too good. Uh, so I can, I'm not going to open this up. I don't want to ruin them. Uh, but look at that. Those eyes are awesome. I think that would attract the fish's attention. And they're sh all shiny and white. Uh, ooh, they even have the tips on the hooks right there. If you can see that clear stuff. Uh, my, cam my camera won't focus, but there we go. You can see it there. I like it. It's pretty big. I mean. Ugh. How many does it come in a pack? One, two, three, four, five. So five in a pack. Uh, it's pretty good. I don't think they're too expensive. Well, sorry. So, uh, Berkeley Power Bait, same thing as on the farm. Fish bite and won't let go. Uh, so here's what attracts the fish. The vibration of the tails attracts the fish. Uh, pretty cool. Um, it's a swim bait, vibrating tail. Uh, yeah. Says on the front, your purchase, your purchase supports uh, sport fish rest uh, restoration. So that'll support that, and um, that's like something that'll keep the fish going. So you're never gonna run out of fish uh, when you're fishing. You won't, yeah, they won't become extinct or yeah, out of yeah, they'll never become unable to fish or like gone forever. So uh, www.eupurefishing.com. Uh, www.berkeleyfishing.com I'll have to go check that out I didn't do that yet uh, so we saw that part uh, bait fish body style and then there's a Spanish uh, so here it says uh, power bait advantage so uh, with the unscented which is right if I can get it yeah you can see the unscented uh, but that's one, it lasts for one second, so you only have one second to set your hook, which is not going to work really well, uh, unless you're, like, it's hard to feel when a fish is on, you can tell, except it's hard to feel, and with one second, it's going to be hard to set the hook in that amount of time, so, uh, three seconds for a regular scented, uh, it's a bit more time, except it's not going to really help, but for these type, um, it's going to be 18 seconds. So that's going to give you a while to set your hook. Not a while, but it's going to give you more time than 3 seconds and 1 second. So, uh, yeah. 18 seconds for power bait. 3 seconds, I don't know. This is Spanish. Uh, so, you first you do is you swim it. You just, uh, so you drag it along. Then you jig it and pull it up and down. Uh, an optional rig rigging with treble hook. Vertical fishing. So uh, that's how it would be if you put vertical, um, these are just normal, uh, I don't know if I could get it, but those hooks, yeah, how they go out a bit more. With the vertical, it's going to be down and uh, a little bit, down a little bit more. So uh, but what the hooks do is they'll go into the fish's uh, mouth, not the side of the mouth unless they grab onto it sideways, but it'll go to the top of their, to the roof of their mouth. Um, so that's how this, these things work. Uh, yeah. What else does it say on here? Chinese. Uh, not for human consumption. <laughs> Obviously, um, how are you gonna eat it with the hook? I guess if you take the hook off. But that's still, why would you want to eat something like that? Ah, so. Um, so let's go just give you a quick, uh, scan of what I got. So this is, a. Uh, Power bait, right there, the thing we just went over. What else do we have? We have our, um, our Smithwick, like that, I recommend that. And I recommend these, uh, these two, I recommend those. Uh, they're actually really cool, they just, I don't know, look at, uh, some neon twirl tails. We got, where's my other twirl tails? Here they are. My... Uh, white rigged twirl tails. Now we have our, sorry, our watermelon get sits. Uh, what does that say? Inscorp, 
Incorporated, yeah. Gets it incorporated. Made in the USA, so that's nice. We have our, um, I don't know what this is. I don't know what it should call it. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> Good thing they don't have hooks in. I can see why. Uh, yeah, it's sticking out again, so. And the last thing that we have is, oopsies. Our power bait for trout, and I don't think I took a look at the lid, so let's take a look at the lid. And what does it say here? It says, uh, Sherbert. No, Sherbet. <laughs> okay. Uh, I thought it said Sherbert. Uh, one, yeah, 1 1.1 1 ounces, 30, uh, I don't know, grams. Yeah, 30 grams. Uh, Berkeley power bait, original scent, and, uh, trout nuggets. I don't what's that thing over there? Uh, the little, f it's a fish. I can't get it to... I don't know what that is. Looks cool though. So uh, I'm gonna end this video with how I started it. So uh, this is Weapon Collector Productions signing off.